Hello Himo fans and welcome to this new video. So today I decided to show you a new solo form of mine. It was a while since I formalized the solo form for my own training. I generally just create them at the moment or I just train a single technique by itself. This time instead I decided to put together some of the actions which I use more in sparring, trying to give a form a sensation of order by adding a proper starting and ending position, more or less like a karate kata. Talking about the sources of reference for the single techniques, it ended up being a mix of Fiore, Vadi and Marozzo. We can call it an Italian style form, if you like. Anyway, let's jump directly into the actual form. First of all, let's watch it in its entirety. As you can see, the form contains six different techniques, plus a start and an ending position with the sword kept in a resting position. Very good, let's analyze it bit by bit. First, we start in our resting position, sword held by the pommel resting on our left shoulder. From here, we drop into Dente de Zenjar, stepping with our right foot forward. From here we launch a Roverso Sotano with the false edge, meant to beat aside the opponent's soul, stepping forward with an accresore of the right foot. We then come back with a Mandrito Fendente meant to hit the opponent, which goes back into Posta di Dente de Zenjar. The second technique is similar but different. We launch another Roverso Sotano with the false edge, but this time we step forward and possibly slightly sideways with our left foot while landing a half reverso fendiente which stops either in breve or in the longer position. In our third technique we launch a low thrust which covers the right side, moving forward with an accessory of the left foot. We stop the thrust half away, as it is meant as a feint to move the opponent away from its guard, ideally a low one. Changing it fluidly into a mandrito sotano meant to cut under the opponent's exposed arms. The cut is executed by stepping forward with our right foot which makes us land into a left posta di finestra quadrant. Our fourth technique is defensive. We lower the tip of our sword and we parry an imaginary reverso in our posta di donnaltera while stepping backward with the right foot, landing a reverso fendente in the meantime, either to cover or to harm the opponent landing again in a breve-like position in front of our right hip. Our imaginary opponent attacks again, but this time from his right side, so we go for a parry in frontale, moving our back foot, the right one, backward during the parry, and landing a reverse sotano with the true edge, the filo dritto, under its arms. We defend from the last imaginary attack, which comes again to harm us on our left side, by leaving the point hang toward the ground, holding the sword with our right hand while intercepting the opponent's sword. We then go for a grab with our left hand, either for the blade, crossguard, hand or arm depending from the situation. We free our sword with a mezzano for the face, while moving backward with a decreaser. We then thrust the opponent underneath the arms, completing the last technique. We then recover the foot in our starting position, letting the sword rest over our left shoulder. Very good, this is the drill. I decided to call it the four cuts, simply because I wanted to put together a series of techniques to train the four main cuts which can be used with every kind of sword, the two edge fendinti and the sottani. In fact, you can actually use this drill to train yourself in the use of almost every two-handed sword, 
from Longsod to Koigmesse to Katanas and so on. With a great exception made for huge swords, which needs to stick to specific dynamics. Very good people, we are at the end of this video. If you are asking yourself which kind of sword I have used for this video, this is my new beautiful CG concept, which was kindly gifted me by my friend and fellow HemaTuber Martin Fabian. Remember people that if you want to see more of my contents and support me directly, you can join my Patreon community, link in the description. Thanks for watching people and uh, as always, see you next time.